credit. Uh, we need to work around this. And we've identified the need for a better system of industrial financing, incentives and export credit to, to, to um, achieve a high impact industrial policy. In, in short, an expanded and refocused ecosystem of support for the private sector, which emphasizes strong conditionalities for public sector support, especially in raising competitiveness. This is what we are seeking uh, as part of our... ...of our budget, purely to ensure that it is accessed by the entrepreneurs, in particular in the city. The issue of communication became clear, but over and above that, that made us not to spend enough of that money in the same direction. Again, some of the issues of compliance. You discover that in your, in your pool, there are many who have registered, but they don't meet the FMA and and a number of other things, which is also a huge challenge that we should sort out. But again, the issue of communication is critical in the sense that if people are aware, they will be making demand to make use of these opportunities to the extent that we understand the problem of compliance. But you take time to understand what are the problems because there is not a lot of people who are stimulated to actually make this what you call this demand. For instance, I'm listening to the other gentleman speaking about the stop shop. Stop shop uh, said, to go to Camden Park here, the Monument Park. We put together state-of-the-art uh, one-stop shop center, a good lady facilitation, investment facilitation development center. We've been able to reduce a number of turnarounds. But what is hitting us very strongly is automation of those so that we can really totally exploit the potential that lies in the infrastructure that is there. So without taking much time, I don't think there's much to be said. We are that by that. Times Media. Just a more mining specific question. Um, Minister, you touched and reflected on commodity prices. We know the reality of the economy and the mining sector. We're looking to create more jobs, but we see a lot of mining companies restructuring. Um, a lot of people see beneficiation as a challenge. How do you see it as a solution at this point in time, further compounded by the fact with our power and um, water challenges that we have in the country at the moment? Okay. Um, just on the question of accommodating or meeting halfway, I think the first point to start with is that many of the objectives that we're setting out to achieve are common, actually, as I mentioned uh, earlier. Um, how we achieve them is probably a, a question for where does one find common ground um, in that process. Um, you know, the Minister spoke about many things that if, if I was expecting the Minister of Trade to speak, that I would uh, want him to speak about. Market access is one, you know, for exports. Uh, um, reducing red tape is another, um, which the minister spoke about. Alignment within government uh, in terms of objectives and, and, and policy is another. And I think those are all relevant, uh, both in government and in, and in business. Um, you know, we talk about uh, market access that goes about uh, allowing scale and competitiveness that goes with that, you know, in terms of global uh, manufacturing capability that comes through things like fair trade, um, and we'd like to see that uh, applied the way a minister spoke about, for example, the, the need to use tariffs uh, uh, judiciously, of course, uh, in, in making sure that happens. You have things like preferential procurement and local procurement, which, which, which uh, amount to market access. Um, and then, of course, you've got regional linkages, which government can drive uh, in a way which a business on its own can't drive. I think, uh, coupled with that, you, you've got the concept of policy certainty, which is important for business to plan uh, long term. You know, businesses are not generally short term thinkers. Um, and to, to put in long-term plans, you need some certainty in policy, and I guess that's something that, uh, that, that, that also helps uh, in that regard. Um, so all of those things together amount to, on the one hand, accommodating or meeting halfway, but on the other hand, working together uh, to achieve common objectives. And I think that is a, a point of departure which should be emphasized, because in most cases, it doesn't matter who's doing what. Uh, the objectives in the long run are not uh, substantially different. How we get there uh, can differ from time to time, and, and that's where engagement matters, because if you're engaging proactively, you're not only dealing with things that are foregone conclusions, you're dealing with things that can still be uh, shaped and changed, and, and that way we can all achieve more, and I think that is, at the end of the day, an objective that we all uh, work towards.